Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski exam in UK and also the lead trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I am back with another uh, adult and MC OSCE station for you again today uh, with uh, one of the uh, stations which is the planning station so if you like my videos please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel okay so in today's video I will be talking about the care plans but this time I'm going to concentrate on a community care plan how to write a care plan for depression in community which is quite a popular topic in your community scenario okay so we will be looking at a how to write a depression care plan what paperwork will you be given and i will show you a example worked out example and then we will write our answers at the end for the care planning so that's what i will show you in today's video so okay let's get started just a little refresher if you haven't watched my planning video already on care planning please go ahead and watch that that gives you general idea how to write care plan so this one we are going to write specifically for the community scenario okay so we're going to adapt it to the community scenario so if you haven't watched those that video first go and watch that video there is link uh, for that video in the description of this video below so go and watch that uh, video on the planning station and then you can watch this one so this is purely about writing a care plan in community and the topic is depression okay so just just as a refresher that uh, your care planning station is a written station is 14 minutes you have to write two very clear care plans based on two nursing needs you have identified with your patient in your assessment station okay so it's connected to the same scenario which you had in assessment station uh, for the if you're writing it for depression obviously which we are talking about today then you would have already completed phq9 assessment which is a patient health questionnaire uh, form for uh, for working out if your patient showing any symptoms of depression so that is normally given as part of the community scenario uh, so uh, if you've been asked by your examiner to complete that then you probably go ahead and write a care plan on depression okay as one of your nursing need for your patient so you will be given paperwork back from assessment station and implementation station in the care planning station for you to complete your care plans so that's what you will have okay so if we just look at a next we are going to look at is just the scenario which they have given us in community so you've been given um, a scenario so again this does not belong to a real person just as a disclaimer i just made a completely for the teaching purpose so here is the template that's how exactly you should see in your exam so the scenario will be written within the template you write your candidate number on the front page candidate name on the front page then you read the scenario so this scenario is about a gentleman called paul smith you uh, have visited uh, him earlier on uh, in a care home to do a assessment on him uh, now paul is a type to diabetic long long term and he also showing some signs of depression so uh, as per your guidance from the briefing from the examiner you went ahead and then the, did the phq9 assessment on this patient okay uh, so now you've been asked to write two care plan nursing care plans which are valid uh, for in the community they ask you to write it for next seven days so as you can see on your screen the time period is the next seven days uh, it's a written station you know and you got 14 minutes to write two care plans today I'm just gonna only showing you one and then uh, time is today uh, date is today and this is the time you're writing your care plan so that's what you get on the front sheet of your care planning okay and inside you have three pages to write your care plans okay so that's what the template look like uh, so obviously today we're going to talk about writing a depression care plan so uh, so next screen will show you that you would have already completed the phq9 form if you haven't watched my video on how to complete phq9 in, in uh, assessment for uh, for a patient in community then go ahead and watch it i've already done that video so we're going to next you would would have been already been asked to do phq9 form which i'm sure 
showing you on the screen and you did the calculation and your total score was 13 and also the back of the form also give you the recommendations what are the treatment recommendations so that's what we got so it, it, it gives you treatment recommendation for different categories between 0 to 9 10 to 14 score and then 15 and above score okay so it give you the treatment recommendation so that would be already given to you in the exam uh, so okay so if we look at so this is the information we got so we got our scenario and we know that we already completely phq9 and our patient score is 13 okay so which kind of is a moderate depression uh, so how do we now go ahead and put this into practice and write a care plan on depression so that's what we're going to do next uh, so if you look at the template now so which i have already completed for you the first thing is the patient details now you don't need to complete these they will already be completed for you in exam just make sure they are still belonging to the same patient you have met in assessment okay but it is already completed the first section you are going to complete is the nursing problem or nursing need so how do we word this for depression so we will say because we already know the phq9 score so we will say uh, Paul is experiencing depression as evidenced by patient health questionnaire 9 assessment tool score of uh, 13 okay so we got that already so we have done that and that score is 13 next we're going to write so it's very clear way of writing your nursing need a you uh, you just written it in very simple words and you added your assessment tool score in that okay so next is aim of care so what you're trying to achieve okay and here remember the time period is next seven days because in community you're writing your pay, your care plan is valid for next seven days so uh, so what we can achieve in next seven days regarding depression so our aim of care should be to improve poles mental health and to reduce people hq9 score to below 9 so maybe go one category below uh, so below 9 in next seven days okay so we're giving ourselves seven days to reduce that score to below nine if we possibly can that's our aim of care and then re-evaluation date so this section in community is simple so the patient been evaluated today and then the re-evaluation will be um, in next nurse visit at next nurse visit okay so whenever he gets visited by the community nurse again so next nurse visit uh, in seven days time okay because our front of our templates at seven days so in seven days time or sooner if patient condition changes so if the patient condition changes patient will probably ring the gp and you will go earlier than planned to see him so uh, so re-evaluation will be evaluated today uh, next evaluation will be at the next nurse visit uh, in seven days or sooner if condition changes now now we're going to go ahead and write the nursing intervention sections the principles are the same as the general principles of planning but we're just going to adapt it because we are in community and we're writing a community care plan so we're going to adapt a little bit so number one is explain the care plan to poll and gain consent we already know that point second one is monitor and record polls uh, vital signs on news to chart and escalate to GP if needed because in in your community scenario anything wrong with your patient the first person you're going to escalate is to the GP because we don't have a nurse in charge we don't have a medical team so we what we do is we still plot the vitals on the news and we escalate to general practitioner as needed okay if there is anything abnormal uh, number three is document all care given to poll number four is administer all medication as prescribed and check for effectiveness number five will be ensure poll has the gp's number so if uh, poll develop any deterioration of symptoms of any or any other problem just make sure he has a gp's number to ring in case of deterioration of his symptoms okay number six will be that we're going to now complete our phq assessment so that's our planning so we will we already completed this tool but we're just writing in our care plan uh, complete phq9 assessment to assess for different 
regression and refer poll to we will refer poll back to GP with the results and for further management and also we will refer poll to the community mental health nurse so you can go ahead and make that referral to community mental health nurse and also inform the GP regarding the PHQ-9 score uh, number seven will be now what interventions we can do simple interventions which may help Paul in getting his mental health better so let's do that so encourage Paul to engage in his hobbies to improve his mental health because we know if we keep ourselves busy it will help with the mental health next one is encourage Paul to maintain regular contact with family and friend now that is really important because we know if you have a some uh, family or a friend you can share your feelings with or you can talk to that would really have a good support system and that would help you uh, you know that should help the patient to improve the mental health so encourage Paul to maintain regular contact with friend and family and build a support system okay if possible uh, next one is encourage Paul to perform deep breathing exercises we know that deep breathing does help with stress and depression meditation and yoga to improve his mental health okay um, we can also provide poll which is the next point with details of the local community mental health support groups because there are a lot of uh, local groups in the community which he can join uh, uh, if he wishes to to improve his mental health and then don't forget to write your print your name signature and date okay so date is what is on the front of your template probably your exam date if he says today and then print your name and signature so that's really really important okay so that's kind of your depression care plan uh, adapt it to a community scenario uh, so um, so top tips top tips wise is the first thing is obviously say written station draw write clearly and legibly okay second top tip is make sure you put all the important interventions in okay how you can improve uh, your patient's mental health just by doing simple interventions so that's really really important third thing is uh, when you're doing a community care plan make sure you are planning this care for next seven days okay uh, so that's another thing and uh, number four will be uh, make sure anything wrong with your patient you do inform the GP that will go in every care plan in community because anything which is not within normal you will always always report to the GP so make sure you do add that point and number five is make sure your patient does have a GP's number to ring just in case if he develops any uh, further complications or any problems so that's really really important to put into a uh, in a community scenario because that's the only way your patient can get help okay so I hope you like this video and I hope that makes sense to you to how to write a care plan of depression in community scenario uh, so if you like my video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel uh, you can also visit uh, us on uh, oskinastraining.com and also email us for further information if you are interested in our oski training on oskinastraining at outlook.com uh, i will soon be back with another video for you on the adult nmc oski uh, exam stations okay and bye for now